We call this play get the sensor because your baby is just craving taking everything in with their senses. So they're reaching for things, they're mouthing things, they're tasting things, they have binocular vision, they can see in color now. So really it's all about sensory input at this age, which will then move to sensory integration and help them be able to build those brain connections later on. So the tummy time wobbler is a way to keep tummy time really interesting at this age. It's still so important for your baby to get lots of tummy time so they can build strength for sitting up and for crawling and for walking eventually. But yet it's really hard to keep them engaged this time. They're really craving novelty and they want to be in different play positions. So this tummy time wobbler will help keep your baby interested during tummy time. So the wobbler moves in these really kind of unpredictable ways and it also moves out of reach. So your baby at this stage will start to be able to put their weight on their hands during tummy time. And then eventually they'll be able to start swimming in tummy time. So their hands will come up, their arms will, their legs will come up and they'll be able to start pivoting. And so having something that's moving object for them to track with their eyes and track with their bodies and try and get to is really healthy for their motor development. The spinning rainbow is also a way to engage your baby in a lot of different play positions. So you can use one hand or two hands to spin the rainbow. And at first you can put the rainbow in front of your baby during tummy time and they will really work to put their hands on their, their weight on their hands to look up and push themselves up so they can see what's happening with this spinning colors and sound. Eventually they'll be able to reach out one arm and be able to actually spin the rainbow themselves while on their tummy. And then when you have them sitting up, you can actually have them spin it with two hands. So this really extends into a lot of different play positions and keeps things interesting and engaging for your baby. They're also learning cause and effect that when the spinning rainbow stops, that they have to do something to actually get it to, to move again. So they're really understanding their agency and their ability to make things happen in their world. The Parts of Me book is intentionally full of a lot of different baby faces. This type of book is the favorite thing for your baby at this age because they're starting to learn that two eyes, a nose and a mouth actually makes a face. And there, there's so endless different varieties of faces and your baby is just craving really looking at a lot of different types of faces so they can make those connections that that pattern of two eyes, a nose and a mouth does make a face. This is a really kind of the perfect book for this five, six month age band. We included a play guide because there is so much to know about your baby's development, but it's so hard to find just the right information. So we've taken all the research and distilled it down to just what you need to know at this stage. So we included kind of the what and, and when of like what's happening with your baby's development. When will they be rolling? What kind of ways will they be rolling from back to belly, from belly to back? Um, what will be happening with their sitting up, what to expect, um, what to expect in terms of their babbling and their language. So we have a lot of different kind of of the milestones, if you will, but then we include a lot of ways to get to know your baby through play. So ways to really engage them in, in meaningful moments of connection and also really meaningful moments for their development. So every one of these play things has a has a card and we talk about the why we include the plaything and many different ideas for, for activities. In the end, we include kind of the best of Pinterest, which is a lot of different activities that don't have anything to do with the stuff in the, in the box, but that have everything to do with what you already have in your home. And so there's a lot of fun ways to get them um, language exposure and sort of have the complete picture of their development. The magic tissue box is a favorite because babies love to learn about containment. So they're starting to understand containment at this age, which will be a learning that they're going to be fascinated with for many, many months and actually years. So even two year olds and three year olds are wanting to put things into containers and take them out and understand this concept that something can be contained. So I discovered that, you know, my babies naturally love to deconstruct a wipes container or take apart a tissue box. And, you know, I found myself like fishing soggy tissues out of their mouth or noticing them sucking on the wipes. And I just imagined what if we could create an organic cotton version of a tissue box that you could reuse. And so these tissues pull out 
And at first you can put the tissue box on the side. So with your baby during tummy time, you can play peekaboo with them. You can take the tissues out for them. You'll notice eventually they'll be able to try and reach for these tissues and mouth them while in their tummy. Um, then you can play with them sitting up um, when they're starting to sit up and they can, you can start to work on having them pull and build their strength to pull these tissues out. And then around one, they'll be able to deconstruct this tissue box all on their own. Um, we've heard from many families that two-year-olds still love the tissue box. It can become a, um, a magic box where you can put your hand in and try and feel um, something to discover. You can put rocks or other items from their environment. So this, this product really extends for a really long time for extended learning. These rattle socks are great to promote kicking, which actually can help your baby learn to roll from their back to their belly. So this is the final stage of rolling to be able to move from their back all the way to their belly and happens around between five and a half months and seven and a half months. And kicking play actually helps promote these, build the core muscles that they need for being able to roll over in this way. And so, they can kick, they understand, starting to build the brain connections that when I move my legs, I make a sound. Um, it sounds simple to us, but it's complex for them. You can also put these um, rattle socks on their hands and they can mouth them. So there's many different ways to play with these, but really they're building that, that brain connections and also building that core strength for being able to roll over. And this organic cotton rainbow ball is full of many bright colors for your baby to engage with. It also has these slices. And so your baby can, you can actually put the ball into your baby's fingers and have them be able to hold it um, much earlier than they'd be able to kind of grasp a whole ball. So it's a really fun way for them to discover, you know, rolling. It's so simple for us, but it's so still so interesting and new for your baby. So enjoy this precious, precious stage. It, everybody says it goes by too fast and it's, it's really true, it does. So enjoy your baby at this age.